Hello. My name is Donnie. Hello, I am the robot. I think I will go this way. No, no. The other way. And now I'm leaving. Good day. Hello. 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 You ain't got eyes, my friend. Oh, I know that. Uh, are they closed? Yes. Ah, okay. Just a sec. Why am I doing all this? I'm Klaus, by the way, from Aarhus University. And this is the first take where I'm trying to find out how to use the screen in a different way. Instead of a channel where you just talk about stuff, you do something else. In this case, I'm trying to change it into some kind of puppet theater. I've got some characters here. Johnny, the robot, and outside of the screen, oh, you could just see him here. The guy with no eyes. And the point is that we can do more with a connection tool like this than just talking to each other about something. And it seems to be one of the hardest ways to communicate when you're talking about kids. Because if you don't have all these tools, you just have to talk. Well, some kids might say, why do that? I want to play. So it could be an attempt to find a way to find other ways of trying to use this channel. If you're on Skype, if you're on Google Hangout, if you're on FaceTime, whatever, appear in WhatsApp, whatever they're called, you've got the same challenge. Could one imagine? this screen to be used in different ways. I ask you to try and experiment with this possibility. There doesn't exist much material about it, but it is a possibility. Actually, you could say that this screen could be understood in at least four different ways. One is the window which is more or less like this one, where you get a view of my office and I could lift this one and you get an idea of what's going on in my office. You think of this as the playground or you think of this as the uh, something else. 
once I saw a preschool teacher doing a horror story. There was a horror story going on in one room and the other kids were sitting looking at the horror story while the it was a laptop, it's that long ago. A laptop was moved around into the horror story. It is also obviously a tool. I can edit with it, I can change the colors, I can do a lot of different things with this video if I want to. If you go on Instagram and you want to post a picture, you can edit the picture right away, so the screen is also a tool for communication. It is also a world. Minecraft is the most obvious example of it. Minecraft is a digital world between us that we enter, all of us, from wherever we come. It's so obvious you can see other characters going around in the same world. World of Warcraft is another example of a world that we share. And the fourth option is maybe what I'm trying to do, changing the screen into an object that you can do something with. That's not just neutral, that's not just something that you expect to be in a certain way, you try to find ways to use it. If I do like this, I'm changing screen to something else. It's an object you can do something with. I think it would be interesting to try out how children would do this if they got the possibility, if you tried it out. So let's see some more puppet theatre on the screen. Imagine all these experiments with the screen done on, not only by me on my own in a video meant for some inspiration, some possible inspiration, but imagine it as being going on in a kindergarten 
Well, this is a game. Let's try in different ways to change the screen. Let's try, we try something, they try something, we try something, they try something. We do something that might inspire them, they do something that might inspire us. Let's say, whatever. They get the idea to make this walk on the screen. Then we might get an idea to make something else walk on the screen. A mobile phone, for instance. Whatever. And maybe it turns out to be a game that we play with the other kindergarten that's somewhere else in the world. And we do not need to know the names especially, we do not need to know a lot about their background. We have this game as a starting point for communication that kids in a kindergarten and preschool teachers in a kindergarten or teachers in the school might like might find important. At least it could be a starting point for talking about the world through doing something in the world.